Alright there, this is Tainted Simmer, and this is not The Sims, this is Final Fantasy VII. Now, I am a big fan of the Final Fantasy VII compilation. Uh, I am a giant nerd for it, if you didn't know already. But, I have only played through this first game, this main game, once, and I didn't do all the side quests. I've seen other people do it, and one of my friends has done it with me around, but I've never done it myself. Part of that being that I am truly atrocious when it comes to the battle system. I I don't really know what I'm doing. And to be honest, I thought that would make for some interesting viewing. It's a wee bit self-indulgent, but hopefully you'll enjoy watching me completely fail at an awful lot of this. So if you want an idea of exactly how badly this went, if you know this story, I went through the entirety of Midgar without knowing what material was, I accidentally skipped through that particular section when it was being explained in the game and I bought it on Steam so I don't have the, the little booklet that told me anything so I didn't know what it did didn't know you could change weapons on characters until I think it was Icicle Inn at least not the Buster Sword so I am a walking disaster when it comes to this game at least playing it I'm, I'm decently alright when it comes to things like the lore and the characters and the storyline. But I'm gonna get on with it now. So I did try to record this yesterday, but when I did it then, uh, I don't know if you know, but my external drive packed it in. And because it packed it in, and that's where the routing went to, I recorded the whole thing and then there, it had nowhere to go so it just didn't work. All I had was my mic recordings. So here we go, I'm giving it another week go now because it's warm outside and I'm trying to just unwind, relax a wee bit. And the beginning of the game isn't all that stressful I don't think. So I'll probably pepper in some things that I know about the compilation and um, anecdotes and things like that so this is not going to be a straight through playthrough so hopefully that's all right here we go with Aerith I will be calling her Aerith not Aeris because that is just how I tend to do it I don't have anything against anyone who uses Aeris I just prefer using Aeris I still really love the beginning of this it just takes my breath away even here, even though in the remake it's absolutely stunning. One day I will play through the actual remake on here, but my computer cannot handle that right now. Um, to be honest, I'm slightly lucky it's even handling the 1997 one, so we'll just go with how we go. I will probably try to speak out the dialogue or summarize the dialogue but I warn you I'm probably gonna sound absolutely ridiculous trying to do Barrett I'm way too white for Barrett some of this dialogue is uh, also not all that kid friendly I guess in, in the sense that you swear a wee bit but then again she just shot somebody so you know you decide what what you think is friendly and what isn't Ooh, that was loud. Okay, uh, come on, newcomer, follow me. I mean, I like I like the music I do, but I will also want to be able to hear myself think. Okay. Also, I I set up the controls for this weeks ago, so here's hoping I actually remember what goes where on this particular um controller. dance there. Okay. Uh, one bit of advice that one of my friends gave to me was just look everywhere. Even if you don't think there's anything going to be there, look. Look and explore. So I'm going to try and take that to heart. So can we talk to a wedge yet? No we can't, but we can talk to Biggs. Someone is a Star Wars fan on the staff. 
Um, wow, you used to be in soldier, huh? Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. Uh, and that, that's Jesse. Is it a soldier? Aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? He was in Soldier Jesse, but now he quit and he's with us now. That might be overstating it, Bix. I didn't catch your name. His name is Cloud. I'm probably going to use people's like proper name when I put it in. Uh, Cloud. Cloudy, I'm... I don't care what your names are. Once this job's done, I'm out of here. I always forget how much of a jerk that Cloud is at the beginning here. Uh, the hell are you all doing? I thought I told you never to move as a group. Our target's the North Miko. Is it Miko or is it Mako? I tend to say Mako, honestly, so if I've got that wrong, feel free to tell me. Um, our target's the North Mako reactor. We'll meet on the bridge in front of it. Okay, we'll give that a wee go. Ex-soldier, huh? I don't trust you. You might be onto something there, Bowers. Okay, I, I actually did figure that out already. I love this shot where you just look up at Shinra Tower and it's like, ah. Uh, that's just the moment, isn't it? It's when you see everything. Okay, getting drawn into a wee battle here. Uh, a guard pup. There's a character later on who has one of these as a pet and I'm so jealous. I think they're so cute. Which does make me feel a wee bit bad about slicing through them, but uh, what can you do? To be fair, it looks like they're impaling themselves on your sword, so, you know. Is there anything up here that we can neck? Any like wee potions or anything? No, I don't think so. Okay. Uh we're going Okay, we're going around here into another battle. I do love the bounciness that you have in these particular battles. Nice job, Cloud. Away you go. I love the fact that the uh, street lamps are all green. I do love the fact that it just, it just, it just highlights the fact that it's Mako instead of electricity, or at least Mako based electricity. What you saying? I'll secure our escape passage. You concentrate on the mission, Cloud. Geez, we're really gonna blow this huge furnace up. This will be something to see. I, I do like the fact that they didn't really um, defang Avalanche, so to speak. It's still very much like an eco-terrorist group. They could have really kind of downplayed that, but they chose not to, and I'm really glad they did. And the moral greyness is part of the fun of this whole thing. Should I say moral silver? Uh, yeah, we're gonna need those potions for later on. I relied very, very heavily on potions because I did not know that you could use materia to heal yourself. Hopefully I'll be alright this time. Uh, yo, this your first time in a reactor? No, after all, it did work for Shinra, you know? The planet's full of Mako energy people here use every day. It's a lifeblood of this planet, but Shinra keeps sucking the blood. But Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture, let's just do it. Alright, you come with me from now on. And stepping into Clyde, there we go. It has in fact been almost two, no, it's been over two years since I did this, so it's been a wee while. 
code deciphered. Thank you, Bix. I think that means next time we go to Jesse. I only vaguely remember what I'm doing, so again, should be fairly fun, I guess. If you enjoyed watching people run about like headless chickens, that is what I'm here for. I do yell at the uh, character, usually Cloud as I'm playing them, as if it's not me doing it and I'm not the one making the mistake. But, you know. Uh, push that button over there. Okay. Switch on. We interlude scene here. I vaguely remember this. Little by little, the reactors will drain out all the life and that'll be that. It's not my problem. The planet's dying, Cloud. The only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and the robot guards come. <laughs> I can almost talk. Right, let's follow Jesse. I should have gone and looked around over there, but... Uh, I don't think there is anything. But I'm I said I'm working on a two year old memory here, so who knows? Uh, Barrett's with us for this. What I do remember is that I didn't get everyone evenly yet leveled up whenever I did this the first time. So I really should swap people out to level them up. can hear that in the background, that would be my neighbour who suddenly decided um, this is a really good time for them to be doing their lawns. But to be fair, it is actually really nice weather out. It's quite warm. As you can see, there's no real strategy to this. Chances are I will fail things first time around at least. Just because I, I don't know what's weak to what. And sometimes it's common sense, like Pokemon, but other times... Ah, uh, you just don't know, do you? Is there anything over here that... I might want? No, it doesn't seem to be. Alrighty then. Those are shock troopers. Don't quote me on that. I never know the names of the enemies. guarantee you I will forget to do this many many times. I don't know what it is, I just I keep thinking he'll do it automatically and then he doesn't. Okay, uh, grab a wee potion here. Um, a fun fact for you is when you come back this way, see what I mean? Already losing track of what I'm doing. Um, a fun fact is that when you come back this way you're supposed to pick up Jesse. And I did not realise that, and I kept letting her die. And I couldn't figure out why I was failing the game. And one of my friends ended up watching it and just went in horror. Are you letting Jessie die? I'm just like, was I not supposed to? And she's like, no, you're supposed to save her. And I was like, I don't know, do I? Um, so I'm going to save this here. And you'll see the... Um, Yep, that's where I was last night, before the whole thing went completely wild. Um, 
that, so at least I've yes, okay, I, I know how to save it now, you're fine. What is this called? Is it an air buster? I forgot. I'm telling you something now. It, it's a lot harder to do this without using magic, so I'm glad I at least know what. It, well, I I know it exists. So I didn't say I knew how to use it. I know how, I know it exists. Oh. Nice, okay. I also haven't gotten a roll in the brakes, I don't think. I don't think I did the first time around, so it'll be a nice wee thing for me to try it. Uh, I think Claire is gonna need a potion, not for these guys, but for the next one, so. It's worth doing now, I think. Just because I think it'll take a wee valuable attack time when we get to the next boss, which I'm guessing will be soon, because that's usually when there's a save point. Thank you. Grabbing the materia. When we blow this place, it ain't gonna be nothing but a hunk of junk. Claire, do you set the bomb? Shouldn't you do it? Just do it. I just wanna make sure you're not pulling nothing. Fine, I'll do it. See, now this, I really wanna know what this is. I don't think it actually answers it in the game what is this voice is um but i'll talk more about that when we get further along but yeah watch out this isn't just a reactor what's wrong huh what's wrong cloud hurry it up yeah sorry sounds about as sincere as i would <laughs> Heads up, here it comes. Yep, here we go. Hello, boss fight. Okay, so let's... Uh, I think Bolt does better damage. I should really have done that. Oops. You know what, that wasn't bad. I think it's Bolt that does better damage. N yeah, 96. Wow, yeah, I really should have done that Bolt. Come on, Cloud. 92, very nice. Ouch. A bolt. Alright, Barrett, you're gonna let your limit break do its thing. One fifteen, not bad damage. Um I think we're gonna need to potion up. Alright. Sucks this time. Oh, big H. And go do your limit break. I think you'll be alright for one more round. Okay, 
Ouch. That's probably gonna hurt. Come on, Barret. Nice job, mate. Fantastic, thank you. Take everything and the assault gun. Come on, let's get out of here. I. 10 minutes to destination. Okay, just let me equip Barrett uh, with the assault gun. I can't believe I didn't know you could do any of this. Oh, I do feel silly. Right. Okay. I wasted a good 20 25 seconds doing that, but I think it was worth it. I should have saved while I was at it, but you know, what can you do? Uh, save. Yes, I want to save. Would you like to climb slower, mate? Yeah, go up. See, this is about you're supposed to help Jesse, and I just didn't. I don't know, it just didn't occur to me at the time. So, there you go. There we go. Actually, are they called Robo Troopers or are they called Shock Troopers? I don't know. I should really look that out. i look that up, I should say. Nice job, mates. Let's move it along. Alright, that's good. Right. Yeah, go up. One thing I really like is how gory it is down here. Because it's reactor. You know, it's, it's, it's reactor one here, and that kind of shows you, you know, it, it's old. Whereas a lot of Shinra seems really sleek and futuristic. I do like that part of the whole thing is, is that he wants his money and we get money from taking out the monsters. Thank you. Away oh, we go. Uh, is it Bex or Jesse now? Okay, it's Jesse. Yeah, that was my bad. I probably should have figured that out. Come on, Cloud. You know, we are on a bit of a time crunch here. You may not want to do wee dances. Uh, Jesse, can you open that door, please? And then over to Bex. Thank you, mate. Here we go. Jessie, you have got to learn to be more careful, young lady. That was some blast. I always forget quite how big that is supposed to be. But yeah, that's wild. I'm big saying that should keep the planet going at least a wee while longer. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, now everyone get back. Yeah, I'm just gonna blow a hole in something. Yep. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> Uh, always gets his backside on fire. Poor fella. Alright, Bart, alright, now let's get out of here. Rendezvous at the Sector 8 station. Split up and get on the train. Let's do that. Hey. If it's about your money, wait till we get back. Aye, alright. Spare red flag there. If he isn't willing to pay ya. Loveless Avenue. Is it Loveless Street now? I just don't like that as much. Rude. Knocking poor earth over. Flower girl, excuse me. What happened? You better get out of here. Nothing, hey? Um. You don't see many flowers around here? Oh, these? Do you like them? They're only one girl. I buy one. Oh, thank you. There you are. Thanks. To be honest, I didn't do that one last time. I I did, in fact, last time tell her to get lost, and I kind of regretted it. Who are you? Wonder what that is on the wall over there? Let's see. Don't be fooled by Shenra. Mako energy doesn't last forever. Mako is the planet's life source. The end is in sight. Protectors of the planet, Avalanche. Blimey. Who are you? Wait, can I not talk to you? What if I chase you? No, nope, you're just gonna disappear. Uh fight him later. I meant to fight dude later. Oh well. You know what? If you can't hand if you can't handle a bunch of chin or grunts then Ah, oh, what are you even doing with your life, mate? Ready? Down it goes. I do find it interesting that they go out in red, whereas I think in later games they go out in green, because they get, uh, absorbed into the live stream. But, you know, this is the first incarnation. It's... You know, it's still early. Things get rock... Things get retconned. You wanna turn around? I mean, there's two behind you. There we go. Flower she blows. Down it goes. Do we dance and then let's get on. One of the things I really liked in the new game is that you can kind of look over the streets and talk to the people and get an idea of the atmosphere of Midgar. Which I don't think you can do here now. So I don't really have time to well, he doesn't have time to sit there and chat to you guys, and I apparently just completely missed that bit, but eh, it wasn't important. They were only army grunts. Uh, Cloud never came. Cloud, I think he was killed. No way. Cloud. Say, do you think Cloud's going to stay on and fight for Avalanche? How the hell would I know? Do I look like a mind reader? <sighs> if you all weren't such screw-ups. You know what? I do find that interesting. Because Wedge says, hey Bart, what about our money? But I think in the remake, they're much more in it for the cause. And Bart tends to treat them with a wee bit more respect. Eh, uh, nothing, sorry. So yeah, it's a different dynamic. Everybody looking at each other. Dramatic entrance, a la Cloud. 
Looks like I'm a little late, you Bond one-liner, yay. Uh, you're damn right you're late. Come molten in here making a big scene. He doesn't know how to make any other scene. Cloud is just a walking big scene. It's no big scene, it's just what I always do. Exactly, mate, exactly. I'm not even going to try and swear because Sid, who you meet later, swears plenty for everybody. Uh, haven't everyone worried like that? You don't give a damn about anyone but yourself? That is not true, but we'll get there. Hmm. You were worried about me? What? That's coming out of your share, hotshot. <laughs> I love Bart. Oh, wake up. We're moving out. Follow me. Hey, Cloud. You were great back there. Hey, Cloud. We'll do even better next time. Thank you, Bix. Come along, Jesse. Careful, I'll shut this. Yeah, that does make sense. Thank you, Jesse. Oh, Cloud. Your face is pitch black. It was not. There you go. Say, thanks for helping me back there at the reactor. Do I have to manually move you? Oh, yeah, I do. I'm not complaining, but you know. Last train out of Sector 8 station. Last stop is Sector 7, train graveyard. Expected time of arrival is 12.23 a.m. Medgar Standard Time. I'd never make it as one of those announcers. <laughs> Lots of redheads about. Makes me think Reno may be fashionable. Isn't that a scary thought? So one of the execs. This is why I hate the last train. Oh boy. Huh? This is my house to so make yourself at home. Thank you, random fella. You see the headlines at the Shenra Times? I forgot there was a newspaper. I have to remember that. The terrorists that bombed the number one reactor are based somewhere in the slums. Blown up a reactor. They sure put some thought into this one. Not really, mate. They're these big things that are huge symbols of Shinra and what they're doing. It's not that big. They must have a real calculating leader on what they'll do next. <laughs> Look, Barrett looking over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't know about that. Stop acting like damn kids. Sit down and shut up. Understandable. This train hasn't switched to security mode yet. I'm sure that'll change by tomorrow. I always forget about security mode. I must remember to just do something with that. At some point, I'm sure. Someday Avalanche is going to be famous. And me too. Probably not for the reasons you're thinking, mate. Right, let's have a wee chat with Jesse. Hey Cloud, you want to look at this with me? It's a map of the Medgar rail system. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you. Thank you, Jesse. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors, you know, flashy stuff. I think she means technology, but fair enough. Okay, it's about to start. This is a complete model of the city of Medgar. It's about one ten thousandth scale. I'm not good with numbers. Um, I have this calculator, so I never get that right, so I probably had that wrong. Top plate is about 50 meters above the ground. I would have thought it would be more than that. Main pillar supports the plate in the center, and there are other support pillars built into each section. The number one reactor we blew up was in the northern section. There's number two, three, all the way up to number eight. The eight reactors provide Midgar with electricity. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. Now, I wonder if that's been retconned, because I know that Wool Market does... It predates uh, the 
plate being built and I think it predates other stuff as well and if you think about it there's also Elmira her family goes way back so I think she would also remember what the original sections were called so I think that may have been retconned a wee bit now instead of their names we refer to them as numbered sectors that's how things turned out phew look what's next look this is the route this train is on the route spirals around the main pillar and we should be coming around the centre about now each checkpoint has an ID sensor device it checks out the identities and background of each passenger on the train and is linked up to the centre the central data bank at Shinra headquarters we definitely look suspicious so are you using fake IDs I didn't whisper any of that, but that's because I, I want you to actually be able to hear me. Uh, speak of the devil, that light means we're in the ID security check area. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. We're almost back now, what a relief. Alright. <laughs> Please don't bother the other passengers. Alright, fine. Look, you can see the surface now. This city don't have no day or night. If it weren't if that plate weren't there, we could see the sky. You can see it in places. There is a day or night. I think it's a wee bit It's not so much a retcon as I think it was just Barrett exaggerating slightly. Um a floating city, pretty unsettling scenery. Huh? Never expect to hear something like that out of someone like you. You're just full of surprises. I is. The upper world, sitting on a plate. It's because of that pizza that people underneath are suffering. And the city below is full of polluted air. I do like that they put that into the remake where you had Yuffie saying, hey, there's a weird smell. <laughs> On top of that, the reactor keeps draining up all the energy. Then why doesn't everyone just move to the plate? Dunno, probably because they ain't got no money. Or maybe because they love their land, no matter how polluted it gets. Important message there, Barrett. Very important message. I know, no one lives in the slums because they want to. It's like this train. Can't run anywhere except where the rails take it. really is quite a cinematic shot there. I love how big everyone's feet is in comparison to the rest of them. Yeah, you don't look suspicious at all. <laughs> okay. Yo, get over here, all yeah. Alright. This mission was a success, but don't get lazy now. The hard part's still to come. Don't y'all get scared because of that explosion? Because the next one's going to be bigger than that. Good to know, Barrett. Meet back at the hideout. Move out. Well, I am going to go and have a wee chat to him. When you've been on train run as long as I have, you've seen a lot of people and a lot of lives. People meeting, parting, joy, sadness. After a while, it doesn't even get to you. Eh, I, I flubbed that, but what can you do? Uh, I'm not letting you go tonight. Wow. Isn't there somewhere we could go to be alone? Wow. There's only the train graveyard around here and they say it's haunted. Well, and they say there's ghosts around here. Damn. What? Is that it? That was not worth it. And there is a save point over here. Let's have a wee chat with this fella. Hey now, oops. What on earth are you doing? Just butt out. Jeez. Huh, you came to see it too? There was a bombing up top. If this pillar should come down, everyone in the slums is dust. Do, do, do. Well, there's no point in worrying about that. 
Hey, check it out. It's huge, isn't it? It actually really is huge. It does kind of look like it's bigger than 50 meters to me, but then again, I'm not good with distances. I do like that you can see the glowing mako on it though. Hey, this is a strange and wonderful place. This is my place, but you can come here whenever you want. See ya, bro. Okay, thanks, mate. You'll cloud over here now. Okay, well, I will join you in a wee minute, Barrett. But for now, I'm going to save here. Uh, hopefully this has worked. And everything's okay. And if that's true, I will hopefully catch you in the next part. Thank you for joining me for this bit of nonsense. <laughs>